good YouTube in today's video I'm going back through my top five meta SMG loadouts for Warzone season five because if you guys haven't been seen I've been going back through and revisiting every single SMG that I believe is meta so I actually wanted to build my official top five list so you guys could give all five of them a try but I don't want a super long intro so real quick I want to give a huge shout out to Hezzy, Peter, and Clay for having my post notifications on if you guys want a chance of getting my next video make sure you guys go down below and hit that big red subscribe button as well as leaving a like and a comment saying noties and watch the full video through like I said we have my top five meta loadouts for the SMGs. Without further ado, stop directly into loading number one. Loading number one, as you guys probably could have guessed, is the Marco 5 SMG. The thing is just fantastic, and this is the no recoil build that I've been posting quite a bit about. So hopping directly to the build, attachment number one is that recoil booster for my muzzle, just increasing the fire rate, which is absolutely incredible for the build, just letting you shred through people. And then you're mixing in the 342-04P barrel, making you more highly accurate and controllable. Of course, that very helpful and essential bolt velocity, getting closer to hit scan, the flinch resistance, and then reducing these scopes when gun bob. Overall, this barrel is one of the big reasons why this build is considered to have no recoil and then i have the slate reflector on my build but this is always personal preference you guys could run whatever scope you guys want and then i have the fr stock giving you even more initial firing recoil recoil recovery ads speed and movement speed very good attachment for this build because it's making you a whole lot faster on the map and more accurate and then, like i said this is the zero recoil marco that i've been using a lot so i'm actually using the m1941 hand stop just giving you recoil control again making it to where it's incredibly controllable and it has really no bounce whatsoever and then you have the nambu 64 round drum mag giving you hip fire actually recoil control and mag size all very helpful pros for the build of course it does slow you down and make you a little bit weaker it's not noticeable whatsoever but overall the recoil control making you more of a beam is super helpful and that mag size is more than enough ammo and then like i was saying with the barrel the bullet velocity just feels great on these builds getting closer to hit scan so i tossed on the length and ammo type which i pretty much have on every single vanguard weapon just giving you even more bullet velocity and then you have the taped grip giving you everything you need for the build with aiming stability movement speed web swap quickness and sprint fire speed making you so much faster on the map and a little bit more accurate and then you have momentum for your perk one and quick for your perk two overall that's my first smg on the top five list i'm telling you guys this thing's absolutely ridiculous and like i was saying i've been posting this thing a lot recently it's the zero recoil marco so you guys gotta go through give the entire build a try tell me the highest kill game you guys get with it in my opinion this is the best smg in season five right now but without further ado stop directly into loading number two loading number two is a very 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 close second i would almost say this is tied for first this thing is also absolutely ridiculous and up close the ttk on this thing is unmatched so hopping directly into the build just like the marco and pretty much every single vanguard smg you have the recoil booster on for the muzzle because the increased fire rate essentially cuts the ttk in half and lets you really shred through people and then for the ppsh i have the 230 mm bo3p barrel giving you more hip fire actually hip fire recoil recovery overall recoil recovery and that fire rate mixing even more with the base fire rate and the recoil booster which is absolutely ridiculous but you could tell we have a lot of hip fire because this is like a hybrid hip fire build and then just like the marco i am running the slate reflector but this is all personal preference on every single build then of course it is an smg so you have the remove stock on it making you a little bit faster on the map but also giving you even more hip fire accuracy and then like i said it's a hybrid hip fire build so now you have the carver foregrip also giving you vertical recoil control and again even more hip fire accuracy and then you also mix in the eight millimeter nambu 71 round mag giving you recoil control and accuracy making you a beam fire rate mixing with the barrel and the recoil booster which is crazy and of course that very essential mag size because you are burning through ammo and then something a little bit different instead of the tape grip i have the fabric grip speeding you up a little bit with ads speed sprint fire speed and again even more hip fire accuracy which is crazy you can literally map somebody from the hip with this build and then you have tight grip for your perk one and quick for your perk two and also we have lengthen for our ammo type which like i said i have this on pretty much every single vanguard smg and ar or any build but overall this is the full ppsh build i'm telling you guys this thing is absolutely ridiculous and like i was saying it's a very 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 close number two i mean i would say it's pretty much tied with the marco in the meta for season five in my opinion so you guys got to go through and give this build a try as well but that's my loading number two so let's hop directly into loading number three loading number three which is a gun that's been nerfed quite a bit with season five and it was probably one of the more dominant at metas from last season is the armagera 43 and it's still absolutely disgusting in this season so i'm directly into the build you guys could probably guess of course we have the recoil booster on again for our muzzle for the third smg in a row giving you the exact same fire rate pros and cons and then for my armor build i like the precision barrel giving you more accuracy making you more controllable that headshot damage which is very helpful makes you kill in like two less bullets which feels amazing and of course that very helpful bull velocity getting closer to hit skin and then of course i do have the slate reflector on i don't really have to explain it i always tell you guys this is always personal preference and then the good thing about the arma is you could build it any way you want and my build is a great mix of accuracy beaming like a mini assault rifle and movement with that strafe speed so i tossed in the ta skeletal stock pretty much giving you everything to be more of a beam and faster on the map and then like i said i build this thing to be a big mixture of a ton of different things and my build literally does feel like a mini assault rifle which is ridiculous and the hand stop helps out a ton with that making you an absolute beam and then you have these 60 round mag giving you nothing but mag size which is fantastic for this build because the fire rate is absolutely ridiculous so you're just burning through ammo just like the pp 
And then of course that bolt blasting, just like the barrel, especially with the mini assault rifle feeling, feels amazing for the build. So I tossed the length and ammo type again, giving you even more of it. And then just like the Marco, we have the tape grip on, giving you everything you need for the build with aiming stability, movement speed, web swap quickness, and sprint fire speed, making you so much faster on the map. And of course, a little bit more accurate. And then you have hard scope for your perk one and quick for your perk two. But overall, that's my full armor build and my loading number three. You guys got to go through and give this whole build a try as well. Some of the highest kill game you guys get with this one. But like I was saying, man, this was the meta last season and it's still absolutely ridiculous right now. Even after all the different nerfs that got thrown at it, I'm telling you guys, this thing is still super nasty and super fun to use on the map, especially on Rebirth and Fortune's Keep. So like I said, man, go through, give this one a try. Let's hop directly into loading number four. Loading number four, one of my personal favorite weapons out of all of Warzone is the H4 Blixen. It's just super smooth and satisfying to use, but hopping directly into the build, of course, for the fourth SMG in a row, pretty much every single Vanguard secondary we run, we will have the recoil booster muzzle on just boosting that fire rate. And then for my Blixen build, I have the Bergstrom 17-inch F3 barrel, giving you more recoil control and accuracy, bolt velocity and flinch resistance, making you a beam in a lot of different ways, and of course, getting closer to hit scan. And then of course, for the optic, we have the slit reflector on, it's just super clean, little easy little red dot, but I always tell you guys, you guys can run whatever you want. And then with the barrel we have on this build, it does make you feel like a mini assault rifle, just like the armor, because you can really beam from any point of the map, but it does make you feel sluggish. So we toss in the remove stock, giving you all your mobility back, making you feel like an SMG again. Speaking of mobility, you have the SG-98 compact, giving you a ton of strafe speed, making to where you're genuinely unguardable mid-fight. And then you're mixing in the Gorinko 54 round mag, giving you everything you need with recoil control and accuracy. Like I said, this build is an absolute beam. That increased torso damage, which feels incredible. And of course, that mag size, because you are kind of burning through your ammo. And then I think for the fourth build in the row as well, we have the length and ammo type again. I'm telling you guys, it's all personal preference, of course, but I just feel amazing with the bolt velocity increase. And then also, I have the tape grip on again, giving you everything you need to be faster on the map and more accurate. With fleet for your perk one and quick for your perk two. But overall, this is my full Blixen build. I'm telling you guys, this thing has been through like eight or nine nerfs. It's been absolutely through the ringer. But I'm telling you guys, in season five, it's still absolutely disgusting. So you guys gotta go through, give the entire build to try some of the highest kill game you guys get with this one. Like I said, that's my load number four. So let's hop directly into loading number five, our last loading. Loading number five is one of the old reliables of the Vanguard integration. We have the MP40, which I absolutely love. This thing is fantastic. So I'm directly into the build. Of course, the recoil booster, just boosting that fire rate, essentially cutting the TTK in half and letting you shred through people. And then you mix in the VDD 189 millimeter short barrel, giving you damage range, bolt velocity, and limb damage. Overall, making you hit way harder, kill way faster, and getting you closer to hit scan. And then of course, we have the slate reflector on, which I don't have to explain too deep. Of course, it's a very clean little red dot, but you guys can run whatever you want. And then for my MP40 build, I've always ran the Krosnik 33 and folding stock, giving you sprint to fire speed and movement speed, making you so much faster on the map and holding onto a little bit more accuracy compared to the remove stock. And then as of recent for my MP40 build, I've recently switched to the hand stop, making you way more of a beam. But if you guys want to and you guys want more mobility, you guys can run the skeletal. And then you have the 45 Gorinko mag, giving you everything for the build that you guys need with recoil control, movement speed, ADS speed, and of course that fire rate mixing very well with the recoil booster. With the length and ammo type, giving you the exact same bolt velocity pros. And the tape grip, again, giving you everything you need to be accurate and faster on the map. With brace for your perk one and quick for your perk two. But overall, this is my loading number five and my last loading on the list, which is the MP40, which I absolutely love. This thing is so fun to use, especially right now. And I absolutely love that it's still back in the meta in Warzone Season 5, the last season of the Vanguard integration going into Warzone 2. So you guys gotta go through, give this entire build a try. Some of the highest kill game you guys get with this one. And like I said, this is my last loading, but we also do have an honorable mention. I'm not even gonna go attachment by attachment. The honorable mention is the RA-225, the brand new DLC SMG that we just got with Season 5. And this is a little bit of a different build than I ran before. This build is just fantastic. You could roam the map at incredible speeds and you're killing incredibly fast up close. You guys gotta go through, give this RA-225 build a try. But like I said, that's my honorable mention. That's it for the loadies. But overall, those are my top five SMG loadouts and the honorable mention for Warzone Season 5. I'm telling you guys, the SMG meta right now for Season 5 is pretty open. You guys could really run whatever you want right now, but I'm telling you guys, the five loadouts I just gave you guys are absolutely dominant. They feel incredible. So go through, give all five of them a try. Let me know the highest kill games you guys get with all five down in the comments below. And also tell me if they help you guys out at all. And if they do, hit that big red subscribe button. That's it for the video.